It's over guys, VR is dying again. But you know what? I refuse to let this happen. It's time for us VR creators to step up and show what we can do. I made a VR game in 10 minutes. In 30 minutes. And this time I've decided to recreate in only one hour one of the most popular themes in VR, a zombie shooter game. Is this possible? Let's find out today. First, let's work on the look of our game. No time to waste here, so the fastest method that I know to make a beautiful scene is the Unity Terrain. With the Unity Terrain, as you can see, I can sculpt a ground with a click. We don't have the time to be super precise here, but I just want to give a sense for the player to be around the forest and have something to look at. Okay, next I want to color this terrain, so I'm going to use two tileable textures. One for the grass and one for the path. Now it's time to add some props to our scene. So I want this game to take place in a graveyard, and for this I will use this wonderful free 3D asset from Kelly. First, the tree. Then the grass. Some gravestone and some more details like a dead trunk, bench, light post and this script over there. And there you go, our scene is starting to look more alive. Ok, so already 15 minutes have passed, we need to speed up if we want to finish in time. So now, this is where the real magic happens, we'll set the mood of our scene. And you know we cannot make bad art if the player doesn't see it, so I will first make the sky dark, then remove the main light to only have these 4 light posts. We can use a fog for a creepy mood, which I will set its color to blue to make a cold ambience. And finally, I want to add a little touch of bloom here to make this light post look shiny. Perfect! And just like that, we have the visual of our scene ready. Uh, wrong music. Okay, so at this state, we had finished the look in only 20 minutes. This just barely gave me enough time to finish the next part, the VR setup. So using my own tutorial on how to make a VR game in Unity, link in the description below, I was able to quickly get the VR working with custom ends. Next, if we want to fight zombies, we need weapons. So what's better than a rusty axe hanging out by the graveyard to fight an army of undead monsters? Now what I had to do was drag this in my scene, add a grab component and making the axe correctly snap to my hand. Not like this, no, no. Perfect, and here we go, we now have our hacks. Next, to give the player at least a chance to defend himself, I want to create a gun for the second weapon. Now, same thing as for the axe, I made a little setup to grab the bullet, and then I wrote this little script to spawn a bullet. Give it some initial speed, and boom, we have now a working pew pew for our game. Why is there an axe and a gun sitting on the graveyard bench? I don't know, a game is full of mysteries, that's the spirit of it. Ok, we have the scene, we have the weapon, now it's time for the star of the show, the zombie. Once again, I will use the work from Kenny, with this 3D character model, beautiful. So a common thing among all zombie VR game is dismemberment. That's right, so we have less than 30 minutes, it won't be easy, but let's do this. First, we need to give some physical properties to our zombie, so let's create a ragdoll for this guy. <coughs> now, to give the impression that this guy lose his limp, I wrote a little script that scaled down the bone of our zombie when he gets shot at. Now, we want to spawn the limb that's getting shot at, so I already separated the mesh of this zombie before starting the clock for this video, and if we make them spawn at the correct position, there you go, we can now transform our zombie into a floating bus, 10, 10 game right there. So what's the first to do is trigger the ragdoll we made earlier when the zombie gets shot to make it die correctly. 
Okay, 15 minutes left on the clock. This is getting harder. Now we need to make this bad boy smart enough to walk himself from point A to point B. So for this, I use this zombie walking animation from Mixemo. And now I just have to drag it on my zombie to make him... What the f***? Okay, wrong one. To make it move. Then I use Unity Navmage Agent to make this zombie automatically create a path from his position to the position of the target. And there you go, we got our smart boy right there. Now we don't want one smart boy, we want an army. So I just wrote a little script that will spawn a zombie at a random position and... Okay, so we just have enough remaining time to spice up a bit the game, so I want to drag this ambience audio for my game and this zombie noise which I made myself using my microphone. And there you go, we got ourselves a more convincing smart boys army. Now we're running out of time, but our game is not finished yet. So I want this game to run for the Oculus Quest and if we were to build a game like this, it would not work because we have way too much triangles in our scene. So a quick way to fix this is to go in the terrain settings and here I can decrease the number of triangles in my terrain. Next I will bake the Unity Occlusion Cooling, this way only the objects that are inside of the player will be rendered and now what's left for us to do is build our game. And there we have it, a game made in only one hour. So what do you think of the challenge? Did I succeed? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. By the way, if you want to get more technical, I've posted the complete one hour making of this game on my Patreon where you can support this channel. Now obviously there are still a ton of work to improve this game. For example, I think that our zombies are too easily scalable, so a good improvement would be to implement a health system for example. But now it's your turn. I'm telling you guys to make yourself a VR game in only one hour. You can record the whole process and even film yourself. And then show me what you made in the collab channel on my Discord server or by tagging me on Twitter. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching this video till the end. As always, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider leaving a like and ringing the notification bell to not miss the next video. A big shout out to my Patreon which have made this video possible and especially to the new one which will appear on the right side of the screen right now. Have a nice day and see you soon.